So the two micas that I'm going to use for contrasting colour, I'm going to do like a white base. And then the two colours I'm going to use are here. And I'm going to, oh shoot, I'm going to use dark orange from Mica Mama, which is here. And then strawberry red, which is here. There's more like a pink, which is what I want. So I like, want like a orange and pink on a white background. So that'll be our swirl colours. I'm just going to clean up that mess. And we'll be back to make this up. Okay, so I'm just uh, putting on some gloves. So I've tipped my oils into my stainless steel, my old stainless steel pot here, because the plastic container is not big enough to do the two logs. So I'm just going to pour my lye into here. So you won't see this, so I'm going to cut out the stick blending. And just bring this to a very light emulsification so we can pour off some for our colours and then I'll colour the rest. Okay. Okay, so let's get these colours poured and then mix up the white. So this is the pink. So we're going to want enough for the swirl and for the top. So normally I do like half a jug. I'm going to do almost a full jug of each colour. and get the colours done first before the TD because the TD tends to thicken and I don't want that to happen yet so just being sensible okay that's dark orange then we'll move to pink always surprises me how easily Mike has mixed into your soap batter just with a spoon. It's good because sometimes when you don't want to stick blend too early, they're so reliable. It's like when I first started making soap, and we're talking back in 2005 when I started making soap, um, we didn't have micas. We had oxides I used to use a lot and the clays and herbs and you know like natural colorants. But there were no micas available on the market. There were like lab colours, which I didn't like because they used to bleed and, you know, cause issues. But yeah, it was really limited. Like what we had available was really limited. So it's just like, God, come out of the dark ages. It's surprising like how quickly things changed for soap makers. It became such a massive business. Like looking on YouTube for soap makers years ago was like, it was like a little community because there were so few and I remember most of the people I was watching and actually most of the people I was watching I'm friends with on Facebook because we built up this nice sort of friendly community but now it's just so swamped but um, it's a good thing that people can make the money that they can you know if there's a there's enough people for soap makers to make money at it, you know? We weren't making very much back then though, it was all sort of like new and exciting, but yeah, I mean, resources now were just amazing. Anyway, I'm going to stick blend this white. Okay, I'm going to leave that pretty fluid because, because I don't want to thicken it up too much because we're going to add the fragrance now. Oh, good lord, wish me luck. And a little bit bitty in there. So let's just hope for the best that this will be okay. I'm sure it was the last time. In fact, I think I even added coconut shreds and things like that to it. I've only ever made it once before in soap, so I'm going to prop that up in there, get the moulds ready by my side in case I need to pour quickly so these are kind of fluid still that's good okay so I'm going to going to tip the majority oh, in there a little bit left over for those okay. 
my thickening up already so I'm going to start pouring half hang on let me move this like that I'm going to move fast now as usual <laughs> Should be okay because it's not gone absolutely mental. It's not gone how I wanted it to really. Let's just give them a quick stir. So let's drop in the pink. Try and leave a bit for the top. It's not going to be the best I can see now. Never mind. And the orange. Ew, gross. See how that white's thickened and the rest hasn't? So that's not the best. We're just going to have to put it with what we got. <laughs> just do some nice swirls on the top, maybe something like that. I did do a discount, but I did actually up the water. A little bit, let me just wipe that off. I did up the water a bit, but see, it's not that bad. The only thing is, I've got more in one mould than in the other now, so I'm going to have to mess about. <laughs> I did warn you that we might have problems. And we have got problems, but it's not that bad. It ain't that bad. It's just not that great. <laughs> Before I lose it all, I'm gonna just scoop some over to this side. So it's still pretty fluid, but that white is not. So that's the problem, is the TD. More reason to try and eliminate it, I guess. I've got too much in that side. But as you can see, it doesn't, it's not really like soap on a stick, it's just thickened up. And if we'd done all coloured micas, it would have probably been pretty fluid. It's just that white. Give me some back over there. Make sure we're pretty level now. There. There. Okay, let me just slam them. And I think... They don't look that bad. Where's my... Get my spoon out of there. Got one of mess. At least you get to see what it's like when things go wrong sometimes. Like everything dropping on the floor. <laughs> I'm going to try and just get some kind of uh, something happening on the top there. It's not going to look good because it's just not, is it? Let's just push that white around a bit before I try and do that, actually. There we go, that's better. Let's push it around and then I'll be able to do my fancy top. It's just the other colours are really fluid. But ideally, I want my fancy top, so... Let's see what we can do. Not a lot, really. Good grief. That's a shame. You just never know what's going to happen, do you? Every single time. But we'll do this. I'll just tart it up a bit and then leave some pictures at the end and then we'll be back for the cut tomorrow just to see what the inside's like. So I didn't swirl it or anything. It's just a bit of a mess. 
but it's not actually that bad it's quite nice so i'm gonna mess about with it do what i can and then i'll be back for the cut tomorrow okay ta-ta Hello, I'm back. Okay, I wasn't going to film the cut because we've had a little bit of... I don't really know what to call it, but there's like some speckledy bits right throughout the soap, but I've just cut the end off one of them and it doesn't seem to be too bad. So I'm just gonna chop a couple more. Hold on, just that stuck on there. There you go. Um... I wasn't expecting that to happen, but we'll see. It might not be too bad inside. It just looks like on the outside, it doesn't look very good. Yeah, it's not too bad on the inside. It's like, um, it's not going to be the best looking soap because, because well, it's just not. <laughs> it wasn't very easy to uh, make. So this side is horrible and this side's not too bad. So. It feels a little bit sticky because I up the water, which is what will have caused any kind of crackling is the addition of more water. But now I'm looking inside, actually it's not half bad. I was a bit, I was thinking, oh no. <laughs> and I filmed all of that, blah, 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 but I thought, no, let's just show it all as it is. Actually, it's, it's not bad at all. But I was thinking I was going to show you anyway, even if it was completely ruined. Just so you can see when things go bad as well as when things go good. But actually it's gone better than I was expecting it to. Or had it, I don't know what I'm saying, geez. I'm only halfway through one coffee. What do you expect me to be like? <laughs> Here's my little mug, look, I'm having a drink. Okay, so we'll carry on cutting it. I've got two batches to cut, but I'll just cut the one and I'm not wearing any gloves, sorry. I normally would have just plonked some on, but I, I haven't got any on. So yeah, this isn't um, the best looking sort of design inside because I had to just get it in there and that white had thickened up so much that the um, colours just wouldn't drop down inside very well. So it's on the bottom around the outside that I'm getting that speckling, which is fine because I plane all of my soaps off anyway, so you won't see it at all when they're finished and ready to go on sale. It's just the design's a bit naff. So, um, yeah, not the best. So in the mornings, you might, I might have mentioned before, but I go out walking with my dog and I meet this old boy most mornings and he's like 87. And he walks miles with his dog, he's got a Saluki cross, so our dogs love to run together because they're both like sight hounds, so they like to run. And um, he's just come in this morning because the dogs always come back in here for a biscuit. <laughs> and um, I said, oh, this one didn't look very good. He said, no, it is a bit of a mishmash on the top. <laughs> this is a guy who knows nothing about soap making, but even he could see that looks like shit. <laughs> But actually it's not as bad. <laughs> I did end up like splashing a load of um, leftover batter over the top. Just to do something with it, but it, it's not the best soap ever. <laughs> when someone tells you, someone else tells you that your work's crap, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Somebody said it online, I'd be really butthurt, but somebody saying it to my face, I'm like, <laughs> I mean, it's actually completely and utterly right, of course. <laughs> reality versus online reality, you know? <laughs> anyway, another sip of coffee. It's not hot enough, I've let it go cold. I don't like that. So I'll have to top that up in a minute. Anybody like piping hot drinks. It's like I'm one of those people. My, my drinks have to be like piping hot. And before I even pour my cup of tea sometimes, if I've left it a few minutes, the kettle's going back on. Because <laughs> I like to kind of burn my throat <laughs> with my hot drink. So I'm just going to cut into this just to see if um, any of these on this log are any better. Because 
you never know what you're gonna get. You know? Not too bad. Yeah, it's like a like a drop swirl. Not much happening in this one either. So we'll call it a day there. The top actually isn't too bad. Where I've like drizzled over some soap, it actually looks quite nice. I quite like that. So all is not lost. Do a couple more and then I'm going. And then we can get this edited and uploaded for later. So I'm trying to do at least one or one a week or two a week. Okay, I'll leave some pics at the end, so I'll get some close-up ones so you can see what it came out like. So I will see you for the next video. Ta-ta!